The Lord who vindicates me. I cry out to God Most High, to God who accomplishes my requests for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He rebukes the one who is pursuing me. Selah God will send out his loving kindness and his truth. Psalm chapter 57 verses 2 and 3. Vindication is a legal term that refers to acquitting an accused person based on other evidence that absolves them from the charges that the accuser presents in court. This psalm is one of the songs of David, the man after God's heart. He realizes that for him, there may be several accusers with hard facts to prove his guilt. He was king of Israel and had made the wrong calls severely during his reign. He made Joab take a census, slept with Bathsheba, and killed Uriah. Yet he realizes that God is the one who vindicates him, even with his offenses. It is common knowledge that David was a man after God's heart, so we often assume that God showed favoritism to this man. However, examining King David's life, we realize this assumption is untrue and does not hold. David was always in God's presence with a repentant heart whenever he sinned and never returned to the same sin. This signifies that he knew that only God could vindicate and absolve him from the guilt of sin. He was sure of God's love, fairness, and kindness and would rather receive God's rebuke than fall into man's hands. This certainly came from a close walk with God that convinced him of God's endless love. So, although David had many flaws that would have served as legal facts against him in God's court, he often basked in his abiding trust in God's loving kindness. Hence, like a little child, he trusted God would always come through and vindicate him. David, in his time, did not have Jesus as a high priest, Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 to 16, who gave easy access to God's throne. But we do. The believer's justification is the place of sonship in God. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become God's children, to those who believe in his name. John chapter 1, verse 12. So we are to boldly go before God's throne as those led by God's Spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Knowing that we stand vindicated before God in the presence of our accuser, the devil. I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation, the power, and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ has come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down who accused them before our God day and night. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. We must remember that our salvation is complete and we are now carriers of God. Of course, we might fall into sin, but we enjoy the place of sonship and grace of a loving Father. His interest and ability to vindicate is changeless, and nothing can separate us from His love. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. Knowing this, we are more than conquerors, even with sin and temptation, through Him that has loved us. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Romans 8, 37. I pray this video has blessed you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment your prayer request below.